for those of you who are saying that this thing doesn't have the v-motion grill yeah you can see it right here in this kind of unnatural studio lighting now of course you know in the real world the horizontal design elements here are going to dominate so you know you're not going to notice it nearly as much are you so yeah there's a new look but it's not all new <laughs> you know what i mean so this is interesting if you want something new from nissan but you you know maybe you have a current generation kicks and you want to upgrade it and this thing is an upgrade we will talk about the <laughs> this is a huge upgrade we will talk about all the little things here inside and out and and then of course yeah the red roof we will talk about that as well at the end of the video but my favorite design of this new kicks has nothing to do with the grill or the roof it's actually the rear end look at how the bottom flares up here and it continues to the rear yes look at how high this is from the ground <laughs> i mean this thing reminds me of a dune buggy because of it being so high and then just so short look at that what is that like maybe a foot from the rear wheel right and then of course they kind of i think they were going for this because look at how the side look at how the body line actually rises up there too what does that mean <laughs> yeah it's like maybe the cabin extends like maybe a foot above the body line so just i mean just take a look at this little fun little dune buggy i mean it has that look doesn't it so this is awesome for like a production vehicle for like a mainstream production vehicle <laughs> this is this is super cool and of course yeah they're showing it with this kind of beach background aren't they and another fun little design detail here on the bottom the very bottom the side and the front not the rear for some reason we do get this like kind of patterned texture effect on the plastic sills so yeah this is interesting because yeah it, it just again they're trying to make this thing fun aren't they and now for the inside here <laughs> i hope you guys are ready for this yeah we do get the new screens two of them all the way across and guess what just overall it's going to be a nicer experience isn't it like what is this <laughs> is that that's a heated steering wheel in a kicks right and of course we get this i mean nissan always has excellent steering wheels as far as the design goes flat bottom leather wrapped with some red stitching of course but guess what yeah all the buttons on the on here are matte black there's no gloss black and they're real buttons so <laughs> you know this is just I, I love to see this with so many of these companies you know putting gloss black and capacitive touch stuff in here no let's you know give people <laughs> give people what they want and yes of course yeah over there there are some physical climate controls as well USB-C you can see them there this kind of like it's kind of interesting here the texture that they now this is the SR trim so it'll be interesting to see what the other trims have but yeah it's kind of got this like wood effect but it's not quite wood I mean it, it's very just a very modern looking material yeah the stitching this is interesting design element here because they they've brought the leather onto the side here which is always just nice to add add more leather and make it look like there's just less plastic of course too it's probably slightly softer padded so if you put your knee up against there or something but yeah we do see this kind of leather wrap treatment here quite often but what's interesting follow the stitching here you know it comes all the way across here and it ends yeah it ends <laughs> it ends where the armrest is and you know the kind of little storage box in there now typically what do we see we see the automakers just say well that's just where that piece ends you know here's the armrest we'll put some stitching here like this right no they've actually this is kind of cool they've actually just continued the stitching all the way around as you can see so everything in this interior is just awesome except for what is this what's up with the headliner here it's all gray it's this is the sr trim the sport trim as well why don't we have a black headliner <laughs> i mean they're giving you they're giving you a full panoramic roof here this is the this is the full thing so this is interesting too i mean you know the kicks is supposed to be a cheap it's supposed to be like an entry level crossover so they're giving you a lot of premium features here now supposedly there is going to be a premium package that you have to select to get all this stuff so yeah how much is the top of the line kicks this one that they're showing off how much is this thing actually going to be it's probably not going to be in the low 20,000 range anymore is it so this is interesting but still this is a 
I think for this, this is such a cool design. Yeah, I think I can see people going for it. You know, and maybe you do want to load this thing up. Now, to talk about the red roof here, I'm not a fan of this. This is, <laughs> actually, I hate this. You know, the whole reason we started seeing these contrasting roof designs, usually black, right, like a black roof, the whole reason is, yeah, it kind of hides it. It kind of hides the mass of the roof. It makes the vehicle just look lower, smaller, lighter, you know, lower to the ground. All those things, what do they do? They, they make a vehicle look sportier. You know, they look, it just looks like it has more performance, right? That's why, <laughs> that's why they started doing the two-tone roof. They didn't start doing it so that you could just, you know, throw any color on here. Let me know what you guys think of this design. I think, I think it overall, overall it's excellent inside and out. And it's just, it's fun. It's new. It's got all the newest tech. And yeah, that dune buggy design is just, <laughs> I'm just, I just love that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you found this overview helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.